Huff a Day. I'm Peter Duenas, corporate chef and owner of Mescla Restaurants. Join me in my quest for culinary inspiration and some of the best flavors around. This is my food obsession. Well, we just landed in Palau. We got a beautiful weekend planned out for us. Just got our rental car and we're headed for downtown Karor, where we're gonna be staying for the weekend. And uh, we definitely gotta check out the boys to see what we got on the fresh catch. We're looking for some fresh seafood that we can chow down this weekend. And we're gonna hit up all the spots, hopefully a boat ride to the Rock Islands. And uh, of course, I gotta put in some fishing time, hang out with some of my friends, and maybe do a little Palawan style barbecue. So come with us and let's check it out, because it's about to go down. When you get to Palau, I definitely recommend that you take a stroll around the island. Go to the Bobble Dub side, check out the capital, which has a modern stateside look to it, but definitely has a lot of rich Palawan culture. A lot of the sights and the scenic views of Palau are just amazing, like no other place in the world. I highly recommend that you get on a boat and experience the beauty of the Palawan Islands. It consists of many rock islands and the pristine waters, the abundance of seafood and aquatic life. Quick stroll through the Milky Way. As you can see, there's many, many tourists as this is a major tourist attraction. You won't catch me putting that stuff on my skin. It smells hey, like fart. Hey, there's our friends from Guam. Yo, Fern. There's lots of people here checking out that silt or the sediment at the bottom here, the Milky Way. Um, and it's funny how we run into some people from Guam. It's a quick hop and then a skip and a jump and uh, you're here in Palau. So join us on our journey. After a quick stroll, you could be in Peleliu, which is one of the larger rock islands. And there's several things to do on there, including sightseeing, some of the World War II relics. It's also a very pristine island with a small population, and you can enjoy the beauty and the richness of Peleliu. Grandma, what are you looking at? Big ones? No, small ones there. Food Obsession is brought to you by Anchor, goodness feeds greatness. MBI, your supplier of choice for world-class brands. Mescla Chamorro Fusion Bistro, taggy fans at Mungi. Mescla Dos. Fine burgers and Chamorro style barbecue. AM Insurance. Hard work pays off. That's why AM Insurance is working hard for you. Guam Visitors Bureau. Making Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. So today, we're at the famous Llanos. Fresh local Palauan food prepared daily. And uh, of course, you stop into Palau, everybody knows you gotta hit up Llanos. It's kind of like in Guam, we have Chodi. Here, they have Llanos. And you can expect to have some really good local style foods. Um, we're here for the steamed clams and coconut milk and some smoked fish. And we're gonna have that for breakfast. Let's check it out. 
the smoked fish, you have to get it by the piece? Yes. Or can I just break off a small piece and... You have to take the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> Man, can I eat all of that? Yeah. I'm gonna have to eat that, take that for my snack all day while I'm fishing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here you go. This is the one. We're gonna get some smoked snapper. Nothing like some smoked fish for breakfast. Oh, it's still warm too. I can feel the heat. Okay, it looks like uh, I want to have one of the clams. This is the giant clam. It's been steamed in coconut milk for like, what, two hours? Two hours to make it really tender. This is definitely what you need to order when it comes to Yano's. I also get one of the, uh, this is the pork. Yes. Slow cooked pork and there's some taro leaf. For... Yes. And we gotta get some fried bananas and some local taro. That's been pounded with uh, some coconut cream. Oh yeah. Clap the lemon, thank you. Thank you, Sudan. <laughs> the beautiful part of coming to Yano's they have a table and seats for you to grab your food and come and eat. Oh man, this is the one right here. I'll try some clam. Mmm. Tender morsels of giant clam, coconut milk. Boom. Oops, I forgot to have other food. <laughs> have some pork. Slow cook in the, um, I guess a beetle nut uh, leaf, the lower portion, it's kind of like a, like a corn husk. And they wrap the pork with some taro leaves and they slow cook it. Man, it's just pork tenders tearing apart. So tasty. And they put the tea tim leaf, which is um, kind of got a citrusy tang to it. Mm. This is definitely one of the first things you gotta do when you get into Palau. Come here in the morning, grab some good chow, put a smile on your face. You're in Palau. Oh man. Got some smoked fish. I guess I chose the right fish, very fatty. And the local wood here has a very nice flavor. It's almost got a like a efit smoke flavor. Yeah. And they. They just dip it. Oh wow. It took me a while to try it. Yeah. It was good. I almost ate the whole. You ate almost ate the whole fish. Yeah. And we've been to Vanuatu and they they have a. Uh, um, you know, the kava and their food is coconut milk, breadfruit, taro also. So, you know, every time I experience like different island culture, the food has similar ingredients that just sometimes it's mixed up differently. Right. Can't forget the raw clam. Whenever I come to Palau, I love to eat some raw giant clam, some clam sash. It's about to go down. Pure sweetness. Came here for breakfast and now we're having brunch. Being the outdoorsman that I am, 
I definitely had to put in some fishing time. And one of my favorite spots to check out without having to get on a boat is the bridge between Irai and Karor. The water is deep and abundant with fish. You never know what you're gonna catch. So we're here on the Irai side. We're gonna try a little fishing. So I'm gonna launch out a couple of lines. I've got some fresh bonita for bait. And let's see what's hungry. Small one. Got me a nice emperor snapper. And this is actually a very good eating fish. So I guess we're not gonna go hungry tonight. I'm here with my friend Van Isaac. Van, thank you so much. Uh, we're at his nice place right out here on the water. We decided tonight we're gonna do it. Palau style, Guam style, and just hang out. They, they got some mango crab, some Palau lobster, some fresh fish. Uh, I went fishing today, I caught a couple of fish and I'm embarrassed to say it wasn't gonna be enough for the boys, but lucky they pulled through. We got some fresh local produce and we're just gonna hang out and have a little fun. Huge live mango crabs. We gotta make them sleep a little bit because if not, we're gonna have to wrestle them before we put it in the pot. Crabs are sleeping now. Sleepy, huh? Sound asleep. Now we can handle them so they won't bite. spinach and a hint of ginger. Doesn't that sound so good? On this trip, we were able to take my grandmother, who actually had never been to Palau, and she got a chance to meet some of our friends and enjoy some sweet, succulent, Palauan fresh seafood. Dang, you can't beat this. We're talking some really, really good crab right now. They were alive just moments ago. And now we're enjoying the sweetness of the Palawan mangrove crab. Today, my friend Ruras wanted to take us to his favorite part of the island to check out some live mangrove crab and some fresh fish.
great trip here in Palau. Another one for the books. I'm here with my friend Russell. Russell always shows us a great time. Thank you, brother. Appreciate all your uh, help taking us around. We were able to pick up some fresh crab, some fresh fish, and uh, they prepared it here. We're, at, we're actually at a carp restaurant where they take what you catch. Uh, you gotta know somebody first. So we're having our final dinner here in Palau. And we'll get busy. Thank you, my brother. No problem. Appreciate it. Did you smile? See, you got it. It's too long. It's too long. Hey. It's too long. Hey. Food Obsession is brought to you by Anchor, goodness feeds greatness. MBI, your supplier of choice for world-class brands. Mescla Chamorro Fusion Bistro, Taggy Fansat Mungi. Mescla Dos, fine burgers and Chamorro style barbecue. AM Insurance, hard work pays off. That's why AM Insurance is working hard for you. Guam Visitors Bureau, making Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. So I'm back from an incredible trip to Belau, where I got a chance to hang out with some of my local friends and eat some great fresh seafood. Today, I'm gonna create two dishes, Palawan inspired, of course. I'm gonna start off with a lobster coconut thermidor. My second dish, I'm gonna kind of get into a traditional Palawan dish called buldak, which is a fish soup. And I'm gonna throw in my my little touches. Okay, so I've got a petite lobster. It's a whole lobster. Um, what I'm gonna do is I've cut them in half. I'm gonna take the meat out. I'm gonna leave the shells because I'm gonna use the shells. I'm gonna cut up the meat and just kind of chop it. I've got some crab meat, some Dungeness crab meat that I'm gonna add to the lobster. What I'm gonna do is add some mozzarella cheese, some Parmesan cheese, some black pepper, pinch of salt, some fresh chopped parsley, add a little bit of breadcrumbs, some mayonnaise, fresh squeezed coconut cream. And that's gonna sweeten it up a little bit. And what I wanna do is just mix this up. I just wanna incorporate all the ingredients. And now we're gonna stuff our shells. I'm just gonna arrange the filling nicely back into the shell. Now I'm gonna put them on a sheet pan. I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs over the top just to kind of crust it. Add a little bit of the mozzarella cheese on top just to Seal it off, a little bit of parsley. So now we're gonna bake this in a 375 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on our baldak. So baldak is a very basic Palawan soup dish consisting of fish, a special leaf they call titium, which has a very citrusy flavor, a little bit of tang, some onions, some salt, and usually some vegetable oil to make it all silky. Uh, today, I'm gonna add some bilimbi fruit or wild pickles. I'm gonna add in some spice, throw in some wild bunny peppers. And, okay, so I've got a pot of boiling water already. I'm gonna add in some onions. I like to put a lot of onions in this. I'm gonna add some bilimbi fruit. And this bilimbi fruit is a, like a wild pickle. 
This is the whole state. It's so sour. I, I, growing up as a child, we used to climb the trees, pick the fruit. It's very, very sour, but it's great to eat with some salt and pepper. I'm also gonna throw in some boonie peppers, just whole, so it can give a little bit of spice. And if I'm gonna add some salt to flavor the broth. And we're gonna add in our fish. And today, I'm using parrot fish. I chose to use parrot fish because it's so delicate, it's white, it's flaky. I think it's perfect for this dish. And to finish it off, I'm gonna throw in some of these titium leaves. And you, when you actually eat it, you can taste that citrusy tanginess. And so I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of the salad oil in there. All we gotta do is wait for the fish to cook. Okay, so now we're gonna plate up. We have our parrot fish baldock. We get some of this uh, blimby fruit in there. Man, it smells so good. Some of the broth. Oh, yeah. Golden brown color. Got a little bit of sauteed local vegetables. Just arrange our lobster. And there you have it, our Palau inspired dishes. We have our powerfish bulldog, my style. And we got our coconut lobster thermidor with some Dungeness crab meat saute vegetables, some steamed rice, because that's the only way to have it. Thank you for watching another episode of Food Obsession, and I hope to see you in here to try out these two wonderful specials. I got my Palauan uh, taste tester to tell me if it's good. You taste the soup. Good. Is it like Palauan style? Yes. Did I get it right? Get it right. It's really, really good. Gotta have the soup with some of the rice. Mmm. Got it right. You're a real Palawan. Some more Palawan, whatever. <laughs>